Okay, for today, we will be discussing the different things encompassing lateral entry. So, dito muna tayo sa general qualification for lateral entry in the Philippine National Police Technical and Operational Support Unit. So, merong tatlong uri ng pwedeng maglateral. Uh, pag sinabi kasi nating lateral, hindi na sila dadaan sa sergeant rank. Hindi na magpapatrol man, patrol buman, hindi na mag uh, master sergeant, hindi na ganun. Kumbaga, diretso na sila o rekta na silang uh, lieutenant, police lieutenant. So first, a person with highly technical qualifications. Take note ha, highly technical qualifications. Kung kumbaga, hindi lahat talaga ay may ganitong qualification. Hindi tayo lahat din pista, hindi tayo lahat uh, nurse, di ba? So ito yung mga qualifications na yun. Either you are a dentist or an optometrist, nurse, engineer, graduate of forensic sciences, doctor of medicine, member of the Philippine Bar, lawyer yan, chaplain, information technologist, pilot, and psychologist. Yung mga yan, ay, again, merong mga highly technical qualifications. Another one is a graduate of the Philippine National Police Academy. Ang mga kadete kasi hindi nadadaan sa mga sergeant ranks. Again, katulad din sa mga may highly technical qualifications, pagka-graduate ng isang kadete ng PNPA, ang rank na niya is police lieutenant. And ang iba pang qualified para makapag-apply for lateral entry is licensed criminologist. O ba diba? may special section para sa atin. Kaya kung pumasok ka sa service sa PNP ng patrolman or patrol woman, pwede kang ma-promote, uh, pwede kang mag-apply for lateral entry kasi nga, licensed criminologist ka. Okay, these are the prescribed sequential procedures in processing of lateral entry applicants in the PNP. Ito yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga procedure o ng mga gagawin ninyo kapag mag apply ng lateral entry. So first is the initial evaluation. The application folder of an applicant shall be evaluated by the PRO NSU ad hoc screening committee of the technical operational unit based on the general qualifications set in uh, Section 33 of RA 6975. And the qualification standards required for the position which shall include among others Education, experience, training, and eligibility. Lahat ng yan ay uh, i-co-consider. If the applicant qualifies, kung pasok ka naman doon sa education, experience, training, and eligibility, he or she shall be recommended or endorsed by the director, NSU, or regional director, PRO, to take the CE. Okay. Qualification standards naman, a point system shall be applied in the assessment and evaluation of the measurable qualification standards possessed by an individual applicant for appointment in the PNP through the lateral entry program. So, ginigradean din kayo, point system yan. For example, uh, kung mag apply ka, Uh, for senior inspector, ibig sabihin, ito ay captain, police captain ito. Kung meron kang uh, dalawang masteral degree, meron kang 22 points. Kung meron kang uh, isang master's degree, meron kang 19 points. So, yan yun. Okay? Kung ikaw naman ay nag apply for police inspector, so this is police lieutenant, kung meron kang doctoral degree, 23 points yon. Kung meron ka ng 18 units sa doctoral mo, meron ka ng 21 points. So, point system. At ito pa yung iba. Bonus points. Kung may uh, Latin award di ka, may mga bonus points yon. Okay. An applicant who possesses two or more of the educational attainments enumerated above shall earn the corresponding higher point 
allotment. Ayan. Next is eligibility, maximum of 10 points. For example, uh, ito, pili tayo. Bar or RA-1080, MD. Meron ka, a lawyer ka, o kaya uh, doktor ka ng medicine, meron kang 8.25 points. Okay? Kung ikaw naman ay uh, ito, may bar ka or RA-1080 with three other eligibilities. Baka meron kang civil service, tapos baka meron ka pang ibang licenses, then you will have nine points. At bonus point kung nag-top ten ka. Pati ito ang ibang civil service uh, eligibilities. Yan, CC and others. Okay. Then, training is also 10 points. Uh, PNP uniform personnel must have undergone any of the training requirement for a particular line or technical service officer positions prescribed in the DPRM and concerned NSUs. The minimum point allocation for training requirement shall be 7. Two or more training shall be given a plus point prescribed by the DPRM for line officer. Line officer positions and concerned NSUs for technical service positions in which case the following shall apply. So, again, point system lang to. Kung meron ka ng 3 to 7 days or 24 to 56 training hours, mm -hmm. then meron kang point zero two. Ayan. So, uh, basahin nyo na lang etong mga point system na ito. NUP civilian and other applicants shall have the minimum point allocation of 7 if they met the training requirement prescribed by DPRM and concerned NSUs for a particular technical service officer position. Those with specialization in the technical field of their profession shall be preferred over those who have none. Siyempre, pipili ka ng aplikante yung may mas madaming qualification, di ba? yung mas yung mas mahusay, di ba? So bonus points of 0 0.02 shall be given to applicants who placed first in the order of merit on any of the PNP and PPSC offered courses only regardless of the course duration. Ayan yung mga points nila for police non-commissioned Officers, ayan, uh, PO1, ito na yung patrolman ngayon, meron siyang 10.5. And ito ay maximum 15 years. And then for NUPs or non-uniform personnel, na-discuss na natin kung sino-sino itong mga to. Sabi natin meron siyang 9 years and 1 day to 14 years, so meron siyang 12 points. For civilian and other applicants, they shall have the minimum point allocation of 10.5 if they meet the unit's experience requirement. The said experience must be in line with the technical field of their respective educational background. Siyempre, depende pa rin sa kung ano yung natapos mo, kung saan ka ilalagay. Okay? Alam nga namang psychologist ka, tapos girawa kang... Uh, fingerprint examiner. Wala naman sa ayos yun, di ba? Ayan. Okay. Point 50 point shall be added for every two additional years of experience. Doctors and lawyers are exempted from the experience requirement. They shall be given the minimum point allocation of 10.5. And then, competitive examination is a total of 15 points to be conducted by the Secretariat Lateral Entry Board. So, ito yung formula natin. Raw score over total number of items. Uh, for example, 50 over 100. They divide mo yun. 50 divided by 100 times 15. Then, yun yung points mo. Okay. 
the lateral entry board shall determine the place, date, and time of the examination. The CE shall be conducted simultaneously in three geographical areas, Luzon, Visayas, Pindanao, in coordination with other PNP units. The, the test questionnaire for line officer and technical service officer shall be prepared by the head secretariat, uh, LEB, Lateral Entry Board, and concerned NSUs, respectively, subject to approval of the uh, LEB, the former, yung LEB, shall consolidate the same and facilitate the conduct of the uh, CE. After that, uh, ang sunod na procedure is the physical and or the neuropsychiatric test. Applicants shall undergo the psychological, sorry, this is psychological, type lang yan. Psychological and or neuropsychiatric test. Applicants shall undergo psychological and or neuropsychiatric test to exclude applicants who may be suffering from any mental disorder to be administered by the PNP Health Services neuropsychiatric section. Hindi naman sa nagdi-discriminate tayo kapag may mental disorder ang isang tao. Pero kasi ang um, trabaho ng pulis hindi pwede na may mental disorder ka kasi di ba pinangangalagaan mo yung public uh, the public entrusts you to keep them safe and secure din di ba kaya dapat nasa very fit talaga ang isang pulis hindi lang sa physical kundi pati sa mental and then after nung neuro ay physical and medical examination in order to determine whether or not the applicant is in good health and free from contagious diseases, dental, physical, and medical examination shall be conducted by the PNPHS after he or she has passed the psychological neuropsychiatric test. So, susubukin naman yung kanyang uh, physical na kakayahan. Okay. And then next is the character background investigation. So applicants who pass the physical and medical examination shall be subjected to character background investigation. So ito na yung panahon na bubusisiin na yung buhay mo. Uh, in order to determine the character as well as his propensity toward violence or use of force. Kaya nga, di ba, kahit sa ibang application, nire-require ang good moral. Para malaman nga kung anong klaseng tao ka. Kasi may mga, for example, sa school, may mga offenses kasi na ang penalty ay hindi ka makakakuha ng good moral. May mga ganon. Okay. Any derogatory report is a ground for disqualification. Uh, the said activity must be conducted once the PMD result is published. So, after mong makapasa nga sa physical medical exam, tsaka ka palang e, si CBI. The final CBI report shall be forwarded to the lateral entry board. So, to be conducted by the Directorate for Intelligence or the Intelligence Group. And then, you will also be subjected to a drug test. Uh, the drug test shall not follow the sequential steps but shall be conducted anytime after the character and background investigation and before the final interview in order to ensure that the applicants are free from use or abuse of any prohibited drug. Siyempre, hindi pwede na may addict na polis. Diba? Any positive indication of drug use or abuse is a ground for disqualification. Basta pag nalaman nila na gumagamit ka ng drugs, then you will be disqualified. This is to be conducted by the crime laboratory. And then, the physical agility test, maximum of 10 points. So, score, 
your score would be multiplied by 0.10. Then, yun na yung uh, points mo. The standard for Directorate for Human Resource and Doctrine Development, Physical Fitness Test, score system shall be used to determine whether or not they possess the required coordination, strength, and speed of movement in the police service. Kasi, baka hindi mo kayanin yung mga uh, trabaho ng police na nangangailangan talaga ng physical strength, manghabol ng suspect, yung mga ganun. Kaya, kailangan mabilis kang tumakbo, Kailangan malakas ka. Kailangan healthy ka. And then, the final interview. So, this is a maximum of 15 points. So, ito ang interview guide mo. Okay? Tag 3 points yan. I O N current events, communication skills, leadership qualities, job knowledge, work ethics, and moral reasoning. Yan yung mga itatanong sa, sa iyo. So, the LEB shall interview the qualified applicants for suitable police, for to, suitability to police work. Of course, kailangan na ipasa niya na muna yung mga nauna natin binaggit. Kaya nga, sequential procedure ito, di ba? There are two categories as basis in the re-evaluation of the LEB during the conduct of the final interview. Confirmation of the technical and general qualifications of the candidates and validation of the candidate's personality. The final interview shall aid in the re-evaluation, revalidation, and confirmation of the qualifications, particularly the technical qualifications of the candidates based on the qualification standards set for the position to which the candidate is to be appointed. And then, the last phase is the final deliberation and selection. Okay. So, thorough selection or screening has already been done in the different stages to include the final interview. The selection shall be made only according to merit and fitness of applicants to the position in which they are going to be appointed. Civil Service Commission Resolution Number 94-15 provides that when two or more applicants meet the minimum requirements for the position, objective criteria must be set to determine who are the most fit and meritorious among all the applicants to ensure that the exercise of management discretion is not abused. Okay. O, tanong. How shall PNP officers be appointed? So, for non-commissioned officers, PO1 to SPO4, appointed by the PNP Regional Director for Regional Personnel or by Chief of the PNP for National Headquarters Personnel and attested by the Civil Service Commission. So, kung nagtatrabaho ka o kung naka-assign ka sa CRAME, Chief PNP ang mag appoint sa'yo. Pero kung ikaw ay naka-assign sa syudad, sa municipality, sa region, si regional director ang mag a sa iyo. Kung ikaw naman ay police commissioned officer, ibig sabihin, uh, police commissioned officer na inspector to superintendent, ibig sabihin, lieutenant to lieutenant colonel, you, you will be appointed by the chief PNP as recommended by their immediate superiors and attested by the Civil Service Commission. Kung ikaw naman ay police commissioned officer na ang rank ay senior superintendent to deputy director general, this is full-pledged colonel up to uh, ayan, deputy director general. You will be appointed by the president upon the recommendation of the chief PNP with endorsement of the Civil Service Commission and with confirmation by the Commission on Appointment. So, ia appoint ka ni President, ni recommend ka ni Chief PNP, in-endorse ka ni Civil Service, at i-confirm ka ni Commission on Appointments. Ayun. So, kapag umabot ka na sa full-fledged colonel, then, uh, kailangan mo nang ma-appoint 
ng Commission on Appointments. Hindi hindi ka na regular na police. Okay. At kung ikaw naman ay Director General, you will be appointed by the President from among the most senior officers down to the rank of Chief Superintendent in the service subject to the confirmation of the Commission on Appointment. So what is the status of appointment of a newly appointed police officer one or patrolman ngayon? Uh, we have temporary and permanent appointment. Sa temporary appointment, it is issued to a newly appointed PO1 who meets the required education and eligibility for the rank to which he is being appointed except the training requirement which is the public safety basic course. Such temporary appointment shall not exceed 12 months reckoning from the date it was issued. And then, we have permanent appointment. A permanent appointment shall be issued to a PO1 after completion of the required public safety basic course. Okay. And field training program for 12 months involving actual experience and assignment in patrol, traffic, and investigation. Kumbaga, habang nasa training ka, kasi di ba mag apply ka sa PNP, tapos magti-training ka. Habang trainee ka, ikaw ay nasa temporary appointment. Kapag graduate ka na sa training mo, then permanent appointment na ang matatanggap mo. So take note, the Supreme Court has ruled that a new appointment is required to be issued by the appointing authority to effect the change of status of appointment from temporary to permanent since a permanent appointment is not a continuation of temporary appointment. The PNP personnel with temporary appointments are those who fall under the following circumstances. First, PNP personnel with lapsed temporary appointments but acquired the lacking requirement. Uh, magiging temporary ang appointment nila. PNP personnel who acquired the lacking requirement before the lapse of temporary appointment. And PNP personnel with lapse temporary appointment but continue their services which require renewal from the Civil Service Commission. So what are the prescribed guidelines in changing the status of appointment from temporary to permanent? So the nature of appointment shall be re-employment. For PNP personnel with lapse appointments but have acquired the lacking requirement. The nature of appointment shall be reappointment for the PNP personnel who have acquired the lacking requirement before the lapse of temporary appointment. Kasi technically, naka-appoint pa rin siya, di ba? Uh, meron ka lang lacking requirement, kaya i -re -re appoint ka na lang. Okay. Then the renewal of temporary appointments with the Civil Service Commission must be done before the expiration of the one-year period. The PNP personnel whose nature of appointment is re-employment should apply for accreditation of their services with the Civil Service Commission in order that they will not have gap in their service para tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung count sa service mo. In application for accreditation, the following documents are submitted to the Civil Service Commission. Latest appointment, your service record, and your order or plantilla. The PNP personnel with lapsed temporary appointments but continue to render service should apply for the renewal of the said lapsed appointment. So, hindi yan matik ha, dahil mag a apply ka pa rin. In applying for renewal, the following documentary requirements should be submitted to the Directorate for Personnel and Records Management for its validation and subsequent submission to the Civil Service Commission. So, PDS, Personal Data Sheet, your eligibility, your training, your latest appointment, special or general order, absorption order, rank adjustment order, confirmation order, and service record. So, these guidelines are applicable to PNP personnel, uniform or non-uniform. Basta nagtatrabaho ka sa PNP, applicable sa iyo to. 
or question. The preceding question speaks about uniform members of the PNP. Does this mean that there are non-uniform members of the PNP? Kasi nga, ang mga tinutukoy natin, di ba yung mga uh, police non-commissioned officers, PNCOs, and police commissioned officers, PCOs. So, ang tanong, meron bang non-uniform? Paano yun, ma'am? Hindi sila naka-uniform. Naka-t-shirt ano, naka lang sila na pumapasok. Hindi yon yung ibig sabihin ng non-uniform. NUP. Uh, non-uniform personnel. So the answer is yes. Non-uniform members of the PNP are those being hired as clerks, members of maintenance, and the like. They are appointed and assigned to positions which are purely administrative, technical, clerical, or menial in nature and to other positions which are not actually and directly related to police operation. They are called non-uniform personnel because they are not authorized to wear the uniform and insignia being used by uniform personnel. Kaya kayo, hindi nyo pwedeng basta lang suotin yung uniform ng tatay ninyo, ng nanay ninyo, ng mga tropa ninyo, kuya ninyo, na police. Ayun ha, malinaw. Yung mga mismong nagtatrabaho nga sa PNP na hindi naman police, hindi pwede magsuot ng uniform na pang police. Kaya sila non-uniform. Kaya, kasi may mga nakikita akong ganyan, especially sa mga graduation pictures, yung mga creative shots, nagsusuot sila ng uniform. Eh, hindi nga pwede yung ganun dahil hindi naman kanya yun. Kaya nga, madalas na sabihin, uh, yung uniform na yan, pinaghirapan yan. Kaya hindi pwedeng basta-basta lang suotin. Kung baga, dapat ganun yung paggalang natin sa uniform at pati na rin sa mga insignias na gamit ng mga uniform personnel. They are not also authorized to possess firearms officially issued by the government. Kasi yung mga NUP, wala naman silang gagawin sa firearm. Ang pwede lang talagang ma-issuehan ng firearm ay of course si mga uniform personnel. So what are the eligibility requirements and requirements for original appointments and renewal of temporary appointments to the PNP? So any of the following is an eligibility requirement in the in entering the PNP. Ito ha, yung mga pwede yung gamitin na eligibility. First is the NAPOLCOM PNP entrance examination. The other one is the criminology licensure examination. O, di ba? Special mention. Then, bar and board examination of baccalaureate degree. Civil service eligibility of college honor graduate. So, kung ikaw ay cum laude, manya cum laude, suma cum laude, uh, considered as a civil service eligibility yon. Pwede mong gamitin. And, civil service professional examination. So, aside from the enumerated eligibility requirements, the civil service eligibilities on scientific and technological specialists on the basis of their qualifications and requirements of public service must also be included. So who are the persons who may be appointed as police commissioned officers via lateral entry? Sino daw yung mga pwedeng maging opisyal, mga commissioned officers via lateral entry. So first, nabanggit na rin natin to kanina. Those with highly technical qualifications uh, applying for the PNP technical services such as dentists, optometrists, nurses, engineers, graduates of forensic sciences shall commence with the rank of inspector. Okay. Kaya sinabi na technical service kasi hindi nila ginagawa yung usual na trabaho ng isang pulis. Nagpapatrol, nagkakondak ng investigation, hindi. Kasi nga, kung nurse siya, ang trabaho niya, maging nurse pa rin. Kung engineer siya, ang trabaho niya sa PNP, maging engineer pa rin. Okay. Kung ikaw naman ay doctor of medicine, lawyer, and chaplain, you shall be appointed with the rank of senior inspector or captain in, the particular, in their particular technical services. 
and then graduates of PNPA shall be automatically appointed to the initial rank of inspector. Okay? And then licensed criminologists may be appointed to the rank of inspector to fill up vacancy. The top priority for lateral entry into the rank of police inspector shall be given to the top 10 placers in the licensure examination for criminologists. However, the incumbent members who land in the top 10 places shall be given first priority. Kaya kung uh, top notcher ka sa board exam, nasa priority ka. Ito yung mga documents or rock requirements na kailangan mo for your for original appointment. So, Civil Service Form 212, School Credentials, Your Diploma and TOR, Physical and Medical Certificate, Clearance, and then Birth Certificate. Kung wala ka daw Birth Certificate, Your Baptismal Certificate. Okay. Drug Test Report, Neuropsychiatric Test, Clearances from the PNP, RTC, NBI, and Ombudsman for those already in the service to include Directorate for Investigation and Detective Management, Internal Affairs Service, People's Law Enforcement Board or PLEB, and the Legal Service. And then, kailangan din ng fingerprint and handwriting specimen mo, passport size picture, authenticated PRC report of rating, kasi uh, kapag nakapasa na kayo sa board exam, meron kayong uh, report of rating. Kung lalo sa atin, di ba, meron tayong six na subject areas. So, bawat subject area, lilitaw doon sa rating mo kung ilan yung uh, nakuha mong grade and then makukuha din yung general average mo. And then, oath of office. It must be stressed further that the lateral entrant shall serve a probationary period of one year. So, probi ka muna ng one year. However, he may be dropped from the service for unsatisfactory conduct or performance anytime before the expiration of the said probationary period. Technical service lateral entrance shall undergo a 45-day officer's orientation course, OOC. Kung baga, ito yung pinaka-training mo. At the PPSC, while lateral entrance for line officer shall undergo officer's orientation course at the Special Action Force, which is inclusive of the one-year probationary period. During this period, the services of PNP personnel so appointed may be terminated due to unsatisfactory conduct or performance at any time. So, parehas lang. Nakapag unsatisfactory conduct ang nakita sa'yo or unsatisfactory performance ang nakita sa'yo, pwede kang ma-terminate. The termination of services shall be done with utmost objectivity and impartiality with the end in view of affording the PNP members concerned the right to due process and equal protection of law. In general, the termination shall be in the nature of summary administrative proceeding. Okay. 